Hi everyone. My name is uh, Luigi. I'm a software quality engineer at Red Hat. And today, uh, this short talk will be about the roadmap of uh, an open source tool that we developed uh, as part of the ELISA project. This tool is named Basil, is a software quality management tool, and it is aimed to provide and to create a traceability between work items. So we yesterday had um, an exhaustive uh, overview of this tool, so who is interested, is curious, you can uh, take the deck from the yesterday talk. Uh, this is just uh, an overview of the roadmap, so a way to share with uh, users and uh, anyone interested in the development to uh, which can be you know, some uh, the roadmap and uh, the list of features and ways to improve and create some community around the tool. So essentially we have uh, two goals. One is to try to create and increase the audience of this, uh, of this tool. And there are some backlog activity that we can imagine of. So like creating educational videos, blog posts, and also uh, something that really uh, is useful from my point of view is to create some demo with a project that want to have to create a traceability to manage work items. We, in the last months, we had some uh, demo with uh, the file, with Xen, with uh, LTP. Um, so uh, if you are interested in um, set up a demo, I'll be happy to, to set up a, a meeting to help you on your safety critical application to put in place an instance of this tool and uh, help you to create the traceability that you need to show to your assessor, not the evidence that you that you need. So um, after that, we will see you know, how we plan for the next six months to to work on those things. The other the other point is a uh, feature development. So today uh, we arrived to plumbers with some new features to extend the uh, traceability capability of this tool, adding a new kind of work item that generalizes the, the, the way this tool can approach traceability. So that was really a great goal because it increased really the, its capability. And uh, the goal is also to interact with uh, SPDX. So we are trying to, to to stay connected with SPDX, uh, supporting all the relationships that uh, SPDX provides. Um, so for the next month, we today are uh, here. So the yesterday talk was about a demo of mapping uh, LTP test cases against syscalls. So I uh, provided um, an automated analysis of that, uh, that mapping be uh, against man pages. So the, the main things for the next month is to go through the automated analysis, review some feedback that we collected during plumbers. And uh, uh, yeah, I also plan to, to start uh, educational video because we have already you know, discussed a lot of things. We have a lot of demos and probably it's the best way to, to interact with the, with the community. So uh, after that, we, um, we will plan to, to have other demos with open source projects. And we also, I also plan to increase you know, the, to, to improve the documentation because this tool provides several capabilities that probably not everyone is using. So like the HTTP API is something that we can clarify and provide more, more details around it. In December, we will have uh, another workshop uh, with Elisa uh, with high probability in the US, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we'll provide, we'll, we'll try to arrive that uh, no important event with, uh, um, with the something new. And uh, yeah, it's time now, now to collect your feedback and uh, now we can demo everything in that uh, relevant uh, form. Okay. So another thing I'm planning to, to support other browsers because this tool at the moment is uh, mostly used on Chrome. And 
um, yeah, another idea is to extend the possibility to use as a reference document multiple reference document. And yeah, generally now usually it's time to to reflect. So it's possible. To, yeah, I think to spend time writing blog posts and uh, demo to community. And last thing is that probably in February we will have FOSDEM. It's another forum that we can think of. And as a tool development, I plan to to work on the SPDX import feature that at the moment is missing. So and that will provide us uh, some. Uh, integration with other tool. So essentially, we, in, uh, uh, we are trying to define some uh, standardization around tools. And on doing that, at ELISA, we have uh, a working group that is the tool investigation working group uh, that is trying to, to define those rules. And so if you want to, have, to see some features or to talk about Basil in general, you can reach out on the mailing list of uh, this working group, or you can show up in uh, in our uh, weekly meeting, be weekly meeting, sorry. So, and that's it, the plan for the next six months. So if you if you have any question or do you want to discuss about any feature of the tool, I'll be here. Well, I'm going to start off. Um, given you're doing some of the work in February for that, are you willing to start prototyping with SPDX 3.1 group on safety and see if we can do some experimentation with the tool, with some of the stuff yeah. that isn't quite landed yet? Uh, this tool already provides some feature around SPDX, so you yeah. can export your traceability in SPDX, but what it's not able to do is to import Port. things from other tools. Yeah. So that is the missing piece, and to really interact, we need to define some rules because we have some, uh, uh, let's say, additional fields around uh, work <coughs> items that uh, at the moment we really don't know what right. is the right place. Yeah, no, that, that's it exactly in the sense that there's work going on right now to create new fields in the SPDX 3.1 safety profile. Yeah. And so if you see gaps right now, letting the, that group know of things that you can't represent easily and then quite frankly prototyping in your tool, sure. some of the stuff before we formalize it finally would be really helpful. Sure. Okay. We're Anyone done. else have questions? Um, Oops, where? Oh, there. Yeah. So, uh, well, this is something that probably it's not in the roadmap because maybe that I mean, it's something that we just discussed uh, yesterday, but uh, an important thing would be an, an important step would be, you know, to, to, to integrate Basil, you know, within the kernel CI framework. Yeah, that yeah, that's the part of the feedback we collected now from the community these, those days. So there is uh, yeah an idea to um, to let this tool able to refer to external test result because this tool also provides a way to execute tests. But in general, so that is the work of other tools. So let's um, do that now to the kernel CI team, and yeah, we need to to talk continue the discussion with the kernel CI because. We need to find a way to, let's say, standardize this interface in, uh, on our side, because there are also requests to interact with uh, GitLab CI. Other other companies ask at those days to interact with other uh, pipelines. So now, as the requests start to be more than one, we need to create, let's say, an interface for that. Yeah. Anyone else? Okay, well then uh, we will say thank you very thank much, you. Luigi, thank and you. everyone will be going on the break. Oops. <laughs>